if you want to transfer data from your old phone to Oppo Find X9, then in that case, we can use the Clone Phone app, which is pre-installed on your Oppo Find X9. On another device, you might need to download the app. You can easily find it in the Play Store or the App Store if you actually have iOS instead. So just to show it to you, of course, we can go to the Play Store. Let's search for Clone Phone. And I'm going to show you which one, which app is the one that we need to download because you will find probably some other stuff. There we go. This is this one, Oppo Clone Phone, made by Color OS over here. So this is the, the one that we are looking for. And we're going to open it. So once you open the app, uh, we're going to go to the Clone Phone on our Oppo Find X9. Now over here we need to select that this is the new device. If you have Oppo, Realme or OnePlus, if your older device is one of these three, then you already have this app. If you have any other Android or iPhone, you actually need to download the app. So I'm going to choose other Android and we're going to generate a QR code. So we want to tap over here to scan the QR code. You might need to use, you, you, will, you will need to grant some permissions for the app to be able to, of course, scan the QR code and so on. And the location as well. I, I think the location is also, also required. And once we scan the QR code, we should be able to try to connect both devices together. However, if for some reason there is an issue with connecting, it doesn't work properly, you might want to tap connect manually over here and you will have this uh, hotspot that you can connect to on your old device. There we go. I actually had to manually connect to the hotspot that was generated and now we are actually connecting. At least it seems so. In case you have like an error or something, if the connection failed, even though you did uh, manually try to go there, then you might need to retry it and uh, just connect manually, tap on connect manually instead. And uh, we need to go back to Wi-Fi settings and we're gonna find the network again. And of course, enter the password. So I'm just gonna enter the password quickly. There we go. Okay, and we're going to tap on connect and then we're going to go back to the app and choose to connect. It should be immediately selected. So let's just go back. All right. And then it's connecting. Finally, we can choose the data that we wish to transfer. So you can transfer contact messages, call logs, multimedia files like photos, videos and music and apps. In my case, I'm going to deselect almost everything except for multimedia files, because in my case, I don't really need to transfer anything. So I'm just going to select this as an example and I'm going to go next. Now we are preparing the data so we can uh, see what can be transferred. In my case, I just have three pictures, which I can, of course, select. In your case, you will have all of these options that you can include or exclude. And we can uh, tap next. Now over here, we need to select that we understand the content of this page and start migration. And there we go. Now we are transferring files. Of course, the speed depends on the amount of data. Um, that we need to transfer. But once it is done, we will see that on our both devices. So we can tap done over here. Here we have the information that the migration is complete. In case you have some files that didn't, that weren't transferred, then of course we have the rejected um, information over here. And also those that have been transferred. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.